Hello! Boom! It's only a bloody PS4, you know, PlayStation 4, Sony's latest square baby. Released here in the UK one week after the Xbox One, but released in America one week before, I believe, which is a little bit confusing. In fact, if you want exact times, it was released yesterday. So have a look at the dates and work backwards a day. I point downwards for the date. By the time you read it, YouTube could have moved it up there, or removed it entirely, or replaced it with a string of arcane symbols that cannot be read by human eyes. I've got no idea what YouTube are doing these days. Anyway, let's ignore that and forget about Google Plus and read about trying PlayStation Plus. Mmm, free games every five seconds. I did pretty good. PlayStation Plus, quite impressed with it. That's why you need big hard drives these days. For instance, 500 gigabytes, half a terabyte of film with pirated films. I mean, um, yes, PlayStation Plus games and installs. Vertical stand sold separately. Ooh, right. Let's cover that. Naughty. Mustn't look. Ooh, I've got some blue stuff stuck in my fingernail. What the hell is that? That come off the box? No idea. Um, anyway, yes, there's a picture of a PS4 and the controller on it, so we know what's inside and that we're not buying cabbages or something. And you've got to be three years old or over to chew bits off and swallow them, so that sounds fair enough. Very blue box, but it does say in the corner, jet black, so you know what colour you're getting. Which is slightly odd thinking about it, because they're only producing these in one colour. Mm. Maybe it's so you know you're not getting it in piano black or... Cosmo Black, or Pling Plong Flu Black, or whatever the latest name they've got for a slightly similar colour is. Right, what else is on the box? Blue. What's on the back of the box? Ah, now we're talking, look. Let's angle this up a bit. Whoop. It is indeed many ads for things that aren't in the box. PlayStation 4, the best place to play. It's not a place, it's a game console. Play the way you've always dreamed of playing. Hmm, people have weird dreams. I do not wish to go into that. Knack! Oh, there's a game you can buy. That's a game everybody liked the look of till they played it. Infamous Second Son. I don't think anyone's played that one as yet. It's not out for a while, is it? Watch Dogs was delayed. That's not until next year. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. That's like Assassin's Creed 3, only a lot more fun and with pirates in. And Bloody Kill Zone, which nobody's particularly interested in. It's one of those average shooters like, um, what's the other one? Resistance, that yeah, nobody really gives a monkey's toss about, and we have to pretend to get excited about oh, every time a console is released. <sighs> but there's Drive Club, and that looks quite interesting down in that corner, with more adverts for PlayStation Plus that they are quite keen on shilling towards us. Share and stream your epic triumphs. No thanks. Stay connected to your games with our thing that uses Sony phones, and is a bit like that smart glass on Xbox, only not as good. However, massively supplemented by the fact that you can apparently uh, stream games to your Vita, which is quite impressive. I don't know how it's going to deal with the uh, having fewer shoulder buttons, but I'm sure they've thought of that. Keep on playing! Continue your favourite PS4 games on your PlayStation Vita with remote play. I already mentioned that because there was a picture of a Vita there. Now you've confused my face. Challenge your friends! Cross game chat with up to eight of your PSN friends. Mono headset included. Oh god, it looks like something you get in Poundland for a uh, mobile phone. That might not be good. And watch your favourite films and more. Yeah, I could probably do that before I bought the PlayStation 4, actually. Don't remind people of that. There's a little uh, logo there, but it looks like Lego heads. What's that about? <coughs> ah, can't get into the camera. There we go. This product allows you to restrict gameplay and access to the internet by children. Oh, and apparently it's a shield with two Lego heads and two stars on that uh, says that. Well, we've learnt something today. That and this can trigger seizures, you know, like anything else these days. So, that's your lot. On the side it just says what you get. Contents. PlayStation 4, Lumena headset, an HDMI cable. I am glad that all the consoles are giving you HDMI cables now. Saying that, I can't remember if the Wii U did. I know the premium pack did. I can't remember the basic. Mm. What's five? Printed materials. Mm, vague. USB cable, power cord, blah, blah, blah. Oh, forget it. Let's just open it up. Much smaller box than the old Expo, because, you know, the cons... Oh, hang on. <laughs> Inside the box is another box. It's got all Russian doll on us. I feel a jump cut coming on. Hmm, well, inside was the other box, as mentioned, and this leaflet advertising PS4 system software update, the killer app we've all been waiting for. Can't wait for that system update. As far as I can tell, every new console release now goes through a massive day one patch that adds features and stops things exploding. And on the back, something else about, hey, you should probably buy yourself a Vita as well. Okay, yeah, because this was nice and cheap. I've got plenty of money left over. What about 
PlayStation 4 and the environments, they're very keen on this. Look at all this, in 43 languages. To save energy, your PS4 system will ultimately power down. We mark PS4 system plastic components into different plastics can be easily identified during recycling. We use only chlorine-free and bromine-free flame retardants. Well, that's my mind put at rest. Where's the bloody console, please? All right, here we go. Good, I'm glad I actually had that the right way around. What's in the box? Printed materials. I like printed materials because they make this noise when you throw them over your shoulder. Brilliant. The controller! Hey, they've finally changed the design that they've had since the bloody PlayStation 1 and I never liked. It's made me fingers go funny. So, D-pad, still using that kind of cross system, which uh, you know, doesn't feel that great, but it's all right. Always liked it a bit more than the 361. Don't really like anything else on the controller more than the 361, but hey, everything's changed now. Triggers a lot less spongy and shit than the PS3 ones. That is still something that amazes me, that they released the controller with triggers so spongy and horrible previously. What was going through their heads? Sponges, I reckon. Uh, yeah, analog nubs are still down here, and uh, yeah... I could do with them being a bit further out, from my personal point of view, but um, it's not bad. You've got your PlayStation button, you've got your share and your options and your touchpad. Ooh, ooh, look. Ooh, it all glowed blue a second. But it won't do it again to make me look like a liar. Um, the only slight worry is actually if you're tapping your buttons here, going for options quickly, you might miss that and uh, hit the touchpad. Hopefully that's something that won't be used majorly in games. Hell, they could map it to that, couldn't they? Um, you've got your shoulder buttons which are easily reachable, unlike the ones on the bloody X-Bone controller. Hmm, although we have worked out a method where you roll your finger, I'll show you that in a video coming up. There's a slab that lights up, because we all need lighty slabs. And it's got quite a nice uh, textured grip to it. Feels quite nice in the hands. I like this considerably more than the old um, PlayStation 3 controller, which I did not like particularly at all. This is getting at least eight more points on my personal hand scale. Anyway, I want to see some leads now. A power lead. Micro mini USB charging lead. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, mm. not quite as impressive as the one that comes with the Xbox, shall we say. Ah, which handily, uh, if I can pull it to the side, is here you get the sort of over-the-ear thing which works quite nicely. This not so good, but hey, the whole thing is cheaper, so we'll let them off. And let's face it, if you're going to be using a microphone headset for any amount of time, you're probably going to buy a decent one anyway. And the HDMI cable. Hooray for such things. And finally, let's manoeuvre all the guff. Get that damn white box out of the way, which uh, causes the contrast of the camera to go mental. Here it is, the PlayStation 4 itself, considerably smaller than the uh, Xbox One, and has an internal power pack. Hmm. I do wonder if uh, Microsoft just made the Xbox massive in order to get its huge airflow so it doesn't cook its own guts like the last ones. So what does this look like? Big black slab. There is uh, a real sort of basic ugliness through both the uh, Expo and this, really. They're just sort of black slabs. Um, I suppose, yeah, it's not the best looking thing, but I do prefer it over the Xbox. The simple reason that everybody I've bloody shown the Xbox One to has thought it was a VCR, genuinely, if they didn't know anything about consoles. Um, something that does worry me slightly, actually. Look how recessed those USB ports are. You're going to have trouble getting certain... Um, USB sticks and things into that. That's irritating. Mm. Oh well. Hopefully it's mostly compatible. But yeah, it has a kind of look of a posh chocolate bar. Is that, is that design make sense? There we are. It's a stealth Toblerone. That's the exact description we need for it. My god, Carruthers, finally we've made Swiss chocolate invisible to enemy radar. And I'm trying to work out if Toblerone is Swiss. Yes, it is, isn't it? There's a picture of the bloody Alps on the box. That's a bit of a giveaway. Right, so we've got two USB at the front. We've got a slot for your discs, we've got vents, and on the back we've got HDMI, LAN, some sort of auxiliary port, optical audio out, power. That's your lot. What more does one need? It's interesting actually how um, PlayStation this time have gone for the more sort of basic game only unit, whereas last time the PS3 was this massive thing with a million USB ports and a, literally a PlayStation 2's guts in there for emulation and then they realised it was too expensive and had to release a newer version very, very quickly. Whereas the uh, Xbox was more, we are games! And this time, it's gone completely flipped on its head. What will that mean for the future of the world? 
we do not yet know. Anyway, that's what's in the bloody PS4 box. Tune in later when I've had a good play with it, and we'll talk about it differently. Bye. Stop the press. I've just realised. Look, an entirely standard three and a half millimetre jack. Fantastic. So you can plug almost any headset into it, I would hope. Not tried as yet. So that's one up on Microsoft's bloody proprietary thing anyway. Well done, Sony. Here, have a pat on the top of your chocolate. Yes.